Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's Derek Dunlap. It is already stay eight. And I promise you today, I know I've been very, very long-winded on some of these videos. And you know, I, I don't write anything down. I just come from the heart. I come from, I try to give you guys what I receive from within. And sometimes it's, it's just a lot of information. But I promise today, I won't be long. And here's the reason why. The wife is gone. And when she leaves, I get to go out and buy things. And look what I got today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I haven't even taken it out the box. I am a gadget man. My gadgets are like women in their shoes. No, women in their purses. The new iPhone 5S. I'm going to tell you if it's hype or is it what they say it is. I like making videos, so I want to test out the video. But it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. I also went and got this new JBL um, Bluetooth, JBL Flip, the little surround sound. It's kind of like Bose, but it's Bluetooth. You can play your music off your iPhone, whatever. I got that. I got a lot of stuff to hide this weekend. Oh, I couldn't stop there, right? I had to get a new, brand new iPad. I think this is the, the, the new iPad. I had the old one. I got the new one. So, I promise you this video will not be long today because I got a lot of toys to play with. Um, what I'm going to share with you guys today, we've been talking about last week mindset and today um, we're going to start the journey to take that journey. We're going to start walking together towards enlightenment to take our lives to the next level in, in every aspect, not just, you know, finances, but in every aspect. But um, this morning I went to that secret place. I turned within and I received the vision and I just wanted to, re to share that vision with you guys. Sometimes when you turn within, when you're still, you will still get visions. You That's where some of your greatest ideas and business ventures are, are going to come from. Because you turn within, you know, you're still, but you're still receiving information from a higher source, right? And, and it's so clear. The clarity is like, man, like, we get we get excited off HD, right, in, in plasma. The clarity when you're still, the information that you get is so profound and clear. Um, you can't help but be successful when you're turning within. And it'll get clearer and clearer and clearer. Now I'm to the point where I actually get visions. And what I do is I take those visions and pray for discernment. And that's the discernment that I'm going to give you guys. So real quick, it's day eight. Okay, when I turned within and, and, and I became still, when I finally relaxed my mind because I was thinking about the iPhone 5 and all of this other stuff. So my mind, you know, had a lot of thoughts going through my mind. I was very excited. I'm ready to play with my toys. I'm looking at them now, right? But when I finally was still and I turned within, I got a vision of I, I was surrounded by a bunch of people, all different races, um, shapes, sizes, okay? And all of these people were ar around me. They were surrounding me. OK, and I was turning and I was looking at all of these people around me. You know, it was kind of like a little overwhelming. It was weird at, weird at first. But when I really just settled down and focused, when I focused on the eyes of each individual, not everybody that was around me, but several individuals, I was actually able to focus on their eyes. Right. And when I focused on their eyes, right, each individual I responded a different way to, to each individual that I focused on. For example, I focused on one individual. I looked into their eyes and I received like a positive, right, energy from their eyes, the energy that they had, right? And it made me smile, right? And I was smiling. Hey, how you doing? And she spoke, you know, went away. And then I focused on another individual. And this individual, you know, I received like a angry, like angry negative energy, right? And it made me feel a certain way. It kind of made me feel a little negative. I didn't really get angry, but I felt like a little, you know, negative, like just a negative energy. Right. And so I turned away from that person and I looked at another person and that person was sad. Right. I looked into their eyes and they were like really sad. And I began to feel sad. Right. That sad energy, right? And then I looked over at another person. I was surrounded. It had to be thousands of people. I looked at another person, right? And they were super, super excited. I mean, like pumped up, pumped up. And I looked into their eyes and they looked at me and I got an energy of, you know, excitement. I became excited and I started smiling and jumping up and down, kind of like a, a, a great sport, sporting event. And I looked into another person's eyes and I just saw wisdom, right? And, and, and I began to like, 
go into my mind and, and things became sharper. It was like the energy of, of wisdom. Like I could actually learn from that person. The longer I looked at them, the more information that I received from this person. So I stayed within and eventually that, that vision cleared away and I stayed turned within. I stayed, you know, just, just sitting there being still and the revelation was given to me. And here it is, and I'm gonna make it short, but long enough for you to understand. Who are you surrounded with on a daily basis, right? This is the revelation that I got just today. And I haven't wrote, when, when, you, when you turn within, ladies and gentlemen, you will remember your ideas like, because it is reality. It's just coming from your unconscious mind. You won't have to write anything down. I don't write anything down when I do these videos, right? This is a mindset that I've acquired from just turning within and being still for 40 minutes a day. I don't have to write anything down because it's like, it's like it just happened. It's like coming in my mind. I can't describe it. It's just here, right? Remember when you, when it's, when you're cloudy, right? When you have that, that poverty mindset and you're doing different things and it's too much noise. That's why you can't remember anything because your mind never settles down for you to just focus on one thing. All right. So, who are you surrounding yourself with? That's my question, all right? And just in my case, when I think back in the past at some of the low points in my life, if you're surrounding yourself, I was surrounded by people with a poverty mindset. This is just my case, so I don't want to offend anybody. I'm just speaking the truth. So I'll just speak, you know, from my experiences, right? I was surrounded by a bunch of people with a poverty mindset okay now how, how would that poverty mindset affect me and and the things that I do because you basically are who you surround yourself with on a daily basis right if you're surrounded by a bunch of negative people with poverty mindsets on a daily basis right not saying that that's the way you will be for eternity but pretty much you will have that poverty mindset right and you'll be negative every day because that positive that that Poverty mindset only allows you to do certain things. It only allows you to reach certain levels. It only allows you to feel a certain way. It only allows you to think a certain way. And your thinking is limited. So you find yourself, right, in that mindset. And if everybody that you're surrounded by, I'm sorry, everybody that you surround yourself with, if they have those poverty mindsets, you won't be able to launch that idea. Because if you say, hey, I think I want to start a, a beauty salon. Oh, girl, you can't start no beauty salon. Plus, you know, you ain't going to make no money. How you going to get people to work for you? And blah, you ain't going to be able to get blah, 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 blah. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So who do you surround yourself with? It's, it's imperative. It's imperative, ladies and gentlemen. When you take this transformation, hopefully you're following us. Hopefully you'll partake in this. It's going to be the best thing that happened to you in your life. I don't care what level you're on. As you take this 90-day transformation, or if you're just looking, even if you're just watching and not participating, you're going to get it in your mind, right? You're going to see what's going on. You're going to see people's lives being changed. You're going to actually witness me go from where I am here to a whole nother level just by the way that I think and just by me being still up to an hour a day. My goal is to be, my ultimate goal is to reach enlightenment to where I'm just in a realm of turning within. I'm turning within, but I'm looking at you and just walking around in, in full enlightenment. Okay. And the only way you're going to reach that status, the only way you're going to have that clear, conscious, powerful, strong mind that will allow you to accomplish every and anything you want to accomplish in life, because you with this mind, you're going to get direction. And when you get direction, you're going to get understanding and clarity. And I challenge you, I challenge you, if this is your first time watching this video, go back to videos one through seven and see how to find the secret place and just how to start turning within. You can start off with five minutes. You can start off with a minute. And you're going to get these visions and this clarity in your mind. And you're going to be able to do, to do things that you've never, ever been able to do before. You're going to be able to write down goals. You're going to be able to write down business plans. You're going to be able to just accomplish so, so much more because you're going to learn how to quiet the noise. So who are you surrounding yourself with? You have to have to look at what's around you because you are 
who you surround yourself with. So that's why I love the internet so much. That's why I love my thousands of friends that I have on the internet. That's why I'm so careful, right? To allow people on my inner circle who have poverty mindsets. Now, don't get me wrong. I speak to everybody. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's been up? Great, great, great. I'm courteous, right? But I only allow a certain type of person to come into my inner circle, right? Because their mindset affects the way that I react. And I want to stay in a positive manner as much as I can. My ultimate goal, remember, is enlightenment. And that's just to be enlightened, to be happy, to live in harmony, peace. You know what I mean? Goodwill, freedom. I want to stay in that, that way. Unfortunately, right now, it's impossible for me right now because I haven't reached that in my mind yet. But it's a day-to-day -day basis. So I don't spend a lot of time with negative and poverty-minded people. Why? Because it'll drag me down. I don't like the energy that I'm receiving from these types of people. They're not bad people. They're just on a what? Different level. We're trying to go to another level. At one time, I just shared with you in the video before, I had a poverty mindset. I had stinking thinking. I wasn't reaching my goals. I was drinking every day, you know? I was gambling, you know? I was doing a lot of things that kept me from going to that level that I needed to be, all right? So today I want you to ask yourself this question and I want you to evaluate your situation, right? Because if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna get the same results, whether they're positive or negative. Who are you surrounded with on a daily basis, right? Where are you receiving your information from, right? Where are you, who's motivating you to go to the next level? Are you with somebody that uh, really doesn't want as much as you want and you find that person kind of like holding you back a little bit? Are you around people that give you a negative vibe when they actually, when they come into the room, you just feel a certain way? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you the truth. We all put off energy, right? And if you find yourself around people that are just putting out negative, 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 negative energy, it's going to affect the way you perceive and how you act when you're around them. And you're going to carry that energy with you. It's, it, you can't help but hit that energy is going to hit you. And you're going to, you know, if you're in that poverty mindset or if you're fighting, if you're doing this challenge and you're trying to keep your, you know, your mind straight. Here's an analogy. I got on a bulletproof vest, right? I wore this bulletproof vest, right? To protect me from the bullets, right? But now, if I'm standing in front of the target at the gun range and just allowing everybody to shoot me in my chest with this bulletproof vest, eventually, you know, I'm going to keep getting hit by the bullets, right? I got on this vest, it's stopping them, but I'm still feeling the pain, right? So if you're surrounded by poverty-minded people on a daily basis, even if you're trying to do the transition in your mind, even if you're turning within, you're still getting punched in the face and eventually it's going to wear you out. So what are you saying, Derek? I'm not saying, you know, your best friend has a poverty mindset, so disown her. I'm not saying that, all right? What I'm saying is guard your mind. Guard the information that's coming your way. If it's not positive information, if it's not motivation, if it's not expi inspiring you, right? If you're not getting knowledge, you know, if, if it's not educating you, you know, things that you didn't know, then don't, ah, oh, what's the word? Uh, don't compromise, right? Because it's going to drag you down. Be around people that's positive, that want more out of life, right? That's going in the same direction that you're trying to go in, you know? That want to be, you know, entrepreneurs or who want to own their own businesses or own stores, right? Maybe you can do some joint ventures. Maybe you guys can help hold each other up because we all need somebody to hug every now and then. So start surrounding yourself with people who have great energy, right? You are who you're around. You become, it's funny how it works, but you know, if I went to China, right? If I lived in China and I was around a bunch of Asian people for a long period of time, I would probably start to talk like them a little bit, you know, do certain things that they do. So it, it doesn't discriminate. If you're around poverty all the time, you're going to have a poverty mindset. If you're around positive people whose goal is enlightenment to go to a higher level, right? To achieve certain goals, then you're going to be motivated to do it, right? Today is day eight. Thank you for watching this video. I'm making it. Well, it really wasn't. That's, this is short for me. Um, I got some things I got to do. 
while my wife is gone. So I will see you guys tomorrow, day nine, Sunday, Saturday. Thanks for watching the video. Derek Dunlap, I'm gone.